Hello, I am Tomlin from Tomlin Harmonica School and I'm going to show you how to play a fun amplified blues harmonica tune. So this lesson is suitable for a relatively new student who is able to bend relatively confidently. It's a lesson from my Introduction to Amplified Harmonica course. Uh, let's have a listen to what this 12 bar blues tune is going to sound like. <laughs> So you will need a C harmonica and we're going to play it in second position in the key of G. And if you click in the link in the description below, you can download the tab and backing track for free. So let's learn lick number one. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, so you've heard what the lick sounds like with the microphone. We're going to learn how to play it acoustically first, and then we'll practice it with the mic. Uh, so let's break it into two chunks. We've got our first half, which is going to start during the counting, just after beat three. Uh, so you're going to start on the offbeat after beat three, and it'll sound like this. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, so you're starting with three eighth notes. We're starting one draw, two draw whole step bend, one draw. And then on beat one of bar one of the 12 bar blues, you're gonna play a two draw and hold it for four beats. So let's, let's try that together nice and slowly. A one, two, three. Okay, so that's your first half of the lick. Then, your second half of the lick is going to start uh, in bar two on beat one, and it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're starting with two quarter notes. So we've got the four draw half step bend on beat one, then the four blow on beat two, and then you'll be doing a sequence of eighth notes. Three draw half step bend, two draw, two draw whole step bend, two draw. So that will sound like this. Now let's try that second half together, nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's try putting both halves together. Remember, we're starting on the offbeat after beat three, and when you're playing with the backing track, that'll be during the counting. So, one, two, three. And again, a one, two, three. Okay, now let's try it with the microphone. So remember, it's all about getting that good cup uh, to get the good overdriven sound through the microphone. And once again, starting just after beat three. A one, two, three. Okay, and now let's try it with the backing track. One, two, three. Now let's move on to that chugging pattern. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, so this is a little bit of filler that we're going to have in between the licks. Uh, it's going to start at the beginning of uh, bar three. And when we start playing with the microphone, I want you to open your cup and play a little bit quieter so that it doesn't uh, come through too loud and it doesn't overdrive the amplifier. So this chugging is going to start uh, on the offbeat after beat one, and it's just going to be a sequence of eighth notes sounding like this. So 
So for the, the first bar of it, you're just alternating. So you start on a, a draw and then you do two blows, two draws, two blows. So that's... And then at the beginning of the next bar, we're going to do draw, draw, blow, draw. Okay, and, and make sure that you're doing it with a nice shuffle rhythm. Okay, so I'll play through that nice and slowly. Remember, we're starting on the offbeat after beat one. So one, two, three, four, one. Okay, let's do that together. One, two, three, four, one. And remember, we're not playing hard on this. So now let's try it with the microphone. A one, two, three, four, one. Okay, make sure that you're not cupping. You want it nice and open. You can keep your hand ready to cup, so keep it balanced on the right-hand side of the harmonica, but don't make that, that deep seal so that you get the really overdriven sound. It wants to be a little bit lighter than that. Okay, now let's try it with the backing track at full speed. A one, two, three, four, one. Right, now let's move on to lick number two. One, two, three. Okay, so lick two uh, starts in bar four leading into bar five and the four chord, uh, and you're gonna recognize it. It's very, very similar to lick one, uh, but the second half sounds a little bit different. So let's just quickly play through it and hear how the second half differs. So remember, we're starting on the offbeat after beat three. A one, two, three. <laughs> Okay, so you've got the first half already. Let's look at that second half starting uh, in bar six. So we're starting on uh, beat one with a quarter note, four draw half step bend, beat two, four blow, and then our sequence of eighth notes is going to be three draw half step bend, four blow, four draw half step bend, four draw. So let's try that second half together nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, make sure you get those bends nice and clear. Let's put both halves together. Remember, we're starting on the offbeat after beat three. One, two, three. One more time. A one, two, three. Okay, let's try it with the microphone now. A one, two, three. Okay, excellent. Now let's try it at full speed with the backing track. One, two, three. Okay, it's time for lick number three. One, two, three. Okay, so lick three takes us to uh, bars nine and ten and the five chord, four chord change. We're starting just at the end of bar eight, as before, just after beat three. Um, and although it's the same kind of pickup phrase, the lick is, is different, so we'll learn it all the way through, break it into two halves. So our first half sounds like this. One, two, three. <laughs> 
Okay, so we're starting exactly the same way as before. One draw, two draw, whole step, bend, one draw. And then we're going to land on a one draw. Remember, that's the root note of the five chord. So that's why we're doing that at the beginning of the five chord in bar nine. And we're going to play one draw on beat one, two draw, whole step, bend on beat two, two draw, whole step, bend on beat three. And then on the offbeat after beat three, you're going to hit the two draw. So that's... Okay, so let's try that first half together, starting after beat three. One, two, three. Okay, and then second half of the lick is going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we've got a sequence of three quarter notes, four draw half step bend, four blow, three draw half step bend, and then we're going to hit two eighth notes, the two draw. Ba, ba. So. And that's over the four chord in bar 10. Let's try that together. Oh, one, two, three, four. Okay, now let's put both halves together. Remember, starting after beat three on the offbeat. One, two, three. Okay, excellent. One more time slowly. One, two, three. Now let's try it with the microphone. A one, two, three. Okay, now let's try it at full speed with the backing track. A one, two, three. Right, now let's move on to the turnaround. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is super easy, super short. Uh, this will be our turnaround in bar 12, uh, starting on beat one, um, just three notes. You're starting with a two draw uh, on beat one and then two draw whole step bend on beat two and a one draw on the off beat. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, let's try that together nice and slowly. A one, two, three, four. Okay, uh, now let's try it with the microphone. A one, two, three, four. And now let's try it at full speed with the backing track. One, two, three, four. Okay, home straight, let's put it all together now. So we'll play it nice and slowly acoustically, first of all, then we'll play it with the microphone slowly, and then we'll play it at full speed with the backing track. Uh, so you're not gonna have a lot of room to breathe because in between each lick, you're gonna do that little chugging pattern. Uh, and then in bar 11, you're going to do the first half of that little chugging pattern. You don't have enough space to play all of it because you're gonna go straight into the turnaround. So that'll be like this. Okay, so be aware of that, of that. So let's try that together nice and slowly. Remember, we're starting on the offbeat after beat three. A one, two, three. Okay, now let's try it with the microphone and remember, you're gonna keep a closed cup for all of, the, um, all of the licks and then an open cup for the chugging and you're gonna play quieter on the chugging just so that it doesn't overdrive as much. So let's try that together on the offbeat after beat three. A one, 
two, three. <laughs> Okay, now let's try it at full speed with the backing track. Right, I hope you enjoyed learning how to play that tune. If you want to learn more about how to play amplified blues harmonica, then check out my Introduction to Amplified Harmonica course, where I'll tell you everything you need to know about microphones, amplifiers, effects pedals, PA systems, and how to set everything up, as well as the best technique for a fat amplified tone. To find out more about that, just click the link in the description below. Now, if you want to learn some more cool blues, then check out my starting to chug lesson up here.